I understand that this bill is a work in progress. I am concerned with the current language, particularly the restrictive language in, in part three, section four, which requires the nurse practitioner to personally consult with a supervising physician prior to prescribing a controlled substance for more than 30 days. Well, you may ask, well, why is this an issue? In primary care, for example, frequently we have clients who require, not for acute pain, which has already been delineated, but for chronic pain, uh, through evidence-based guidelines and uh, through diagnostic workup and collaboration with interprofessional pain specialists, they do require sometimes schedule two or lower medications for functional improvement. Moreover, there are clients with psychopathology who would be impacted by this language as it is currently written because many stimulants are also in Schedule II. And uh, for a nurse practitioner to have to personally consult with a supervising physician every time one of these prescriptions is written will create barriers for the consumer. It will delay care. It will increase cost through the cost of increased super supervision by physicians and uh, mm -hmm. physicians and also it also duplicates uh, clinical management in this process and I know that it's not the intent of this bill and so I would uh, request thoughtful consideration as you move forward with uh, the language and uh, with the tweaking of, of this bill as we move forward.